we have the winner of season 15 of The Voice, Chevelle Shepard. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on the show. Take a seat. Welcome. Thank Isn't this you. awesome? Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, I love your outfit. You are thank just you. bedazzled out. Wow, Chevelle, thank you for coming on our show. Thank you for having me. This is so this is such an honor. I gotta know, are you still in school? I am, um, kind of. Well, I'm doing online school, but I got it to where all my credits will go back to the high school I was going to, and I can graduate with my class and walk with my friends. And that's so neat. What, yeah, so that's really cool. What are your What are your friends? What does your friends say from this? Like, what 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 is it like now hanging out with your your friends? Um, it's crazy. Um, everywhere I go in public in Farmington, everyone recognizes me, and um, at restaurants, walking through the mall, walking through Walmart, a whole bunch of different places. So every time I'm with friends, they're like, "You're Chevelle, right?" And my friend's just like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah, she is. <laughs> that's so cool." Well, how did you get into singing? Um, my mom and my sister sing, and so growing up, I just always heard them singing, and I was like, I want to do that too, so I started singing. The first song I ever learned was a Tim McGraw song, and then a Carrie Underwood song, and I'd sing those constantly around the house, and um, I've been singing since I was about two, and I just kept doing it ever since. Oh, that's so great. What Tim McGraw song was it? Um, Fly Away. Fly Away? Yes. I love Tim McGraw. He's one of my favorite He's country. Amazing country uh, singers. I love that. Do you also, you love yodeling, is that right? I do. I love to yodel. Um, it's, it's really different and nobody does it anymore. So it's really fun to um, showcase something that not a lot of people can do anymore. Yeah. I don't even know how I'd begin to like try to, to yodel. I would be so, I would just butcher it so bad. So I'll leave that to you. You can try. You. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't think, what, what's the technique that you do to yodel? Well, you have to like find the break in your voice. I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> well, maybe after the show we can try that, because I think if I did that on the show, half the crowd would walk out and people would turn their TV off. So. But you're going to maybe have to teach me, because that is a fascinating thing that I don't think a lot of people I, do. I could try. I'll try to teach you. <laughs> I like that. Um, in 10 years, how would you like to describe your life? Um, I have a lot of goals set for myself. Hopefully in 10 years, um, I'm at the CMA Awards and at the Grammy Awards, um, singing at the Grand Ole Opry, um, making albums, just touring around the world, showing my passion for country music. That's awesome. <laughs> do you, do you want to stay as New Mexico is your home or are you going to move to LA, Nashville? Um, New Mexico, definitely. Yeah. Um, Maybe sometime in the future, wherever life takes me. But for now, I'm I'm in New Mexico. I, I love that. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that you have become an icon for this state, and I see you all over the place. And uh, I, I I need to ask you, what do you are you big into cars? Oh, I love cars. Yeah, what's definitely. Your, what's your favorite type of car? Um. A 1972 Chevy Chevelle SS. <laughs> Which, I think I think they have, and that's that's you that's, with it right there. Yeah. And, <laughs> and one of one of our audience members actually built that car. He right? did. Yes. That's awesome. He I, he took it up. You got to meet it. You got fell in love with it. And I did. Now I you have this awesome. Who has a car like that? I know it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Does your license plate say Chevelle on it? Mine, um, mine says Colt on my truck, so should, I think you should have Chevelle We should on definitely it. get that. I'm going to have to talk to my dad. He surprised me with the car. Did he? Yeah, and so um, I'm going to have to talk to him and be like, Dad, let's get a license plate with Chevelle on it. That's a good idea. Good idea. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I think it would be, it would be comical to do. I think George R. R. Martin actually has uh, his as like George R. R. Martin on his like type of license plate, so I guess it's kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, okay, so... You have tons of people that look up to you. Is there a lot of pressure with that? Um, not really. I love it. Um, the only thing is that I can't wear sweatpants in public. That is what they all try to tell me, and I just refuse. Yeah. So. I, my mom was like, no, you can't wear sweatpants. You're meeting people today. And I was like, okay. Well, next time you come back on the show, you are welcome to wear sweatpants with us. <laughs> oh, so funny. What is the most difficult part of your life right now? Um, traveling so much and being away from my dad. Um, I love to travel, but um, we have animals at home, and so my dad has to stay behind while me and my mom go all these places. And so it's just hard to be away from um, my dad, who's um, a really big supporter of mine, just yeah. like my mom. So 
it's it's that's the hardest thing. That's nice that your mom travels with you to a, yeah. a lot of places. It's a nice thing to have. She's amazing. What is your your schedule? Is you just constantly going all over the place? I am. I feel like I've been all over the United States in the past month. I've been to Atlanta, New York, Maryland, wow. um, so many different places. Do you not get tired of it? No, I like it. Um, I like seeing new places that I've never been to, different different people, um, different like lifestyles. I like it, and there's lots of great opportunities everywhere, and so I, I just love to take as many as I can get. Yeah. What's the most difficult part of your life right now? That's probably it, just being away from my dad. You've been away from your dad? Yeah. How often do you get to see him? Um, well, I see him every time I'm home. Um, we come to Albuquerque together a lot. Um, it's been... It's been hard because I haven't seen him a ton since winning the show. Yeah. But um, hopefully he'll get to go with me more. Um, I'm singing at NASCAR on the March 10th, so my dad, my dad gets to go with me on that because he loves cars and I love cars. <laughs> so that's something we're doing together. That's so fun. Are you gonna sing at NASCAR? Yeah, I'm singing at oh, what's it called? The Monster Energy Cup Series. Wow! Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. I love that. Well, our show, we love to ask just these really in-depth, meaningful questions yeah. because we just really like to get to know you. So who has changed your life? Oh, of course. Um, Kelly Clarkson, definitely. Um. <laughs> she, she is the judge that um, first turned her chair around in support of you. She did. Um, she really worked with me, and she really sticks by you. She's, she's not like you think she is like so you think celebrities don't like engage with people she is just like it's just like talking to you you can be yourself around her she's so funny she cracks a joke all the time like everything is a joke everything is funny she can make everything just so happy and upbeat she's always so positive and she's like a sister to me really you guys yeah. gotten pretty close yeah she's amazing that's so awesome i saw that you I think we're in Phoenix with her, and you got to perform at one of her tour stops in the I Phoenix, did. Arizona. I area. did. That would have been amazing to, what an amazing opportunity that is. It was so fun. Um, not many 16 year olds have Kelly Clarkson as a backup singer for them. Um, no, that they, was crazy. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. No, yeah, 16 year that you're just, it's, it's amazing what, Thank you are, you. what you're accomplishing out there. So, when you do go back home, what is like a family tradition of yours that you guys have? Well, um, my favorite family tradition, um, during the holidays, we always play charades. Yeah, you play uh, charades? I love charades. Well, I wish that we would have known that. Next time we know, we're going to come and play charades on our okay. show with you. Okay, we can have them guess. Oh, that's a great idea. All right, all right. Next time you come on, we're okay. going to do that, okay? Okay. So you love playing charades with your family. I that's do. Good. Do you guys get together a lot for the holidays? Um, yeah, um, my sisters and my brothers come down. I only have one sister. I don't know why I said sisters. But my sister and my brothers come down and um, see us, and we go to my grandparents sometimes. So. Are you the youngest of the family? I am. I'm the last one at home. What do they do? Um, my oldest brother served in the Army for six years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, my second oldest brother um, works at GoDaddy.com. Very, that's one of my favorite places, actually. They're the best, they have the best customer service. I yeah, love that. Yeah, they're, they're, they're super cool. <laughs> um, my sister is a stay-at-home mom. Um, and then my brother is a security guard, I think. I might be wrong. It's all right. <laughs> but I'm, I, I think that's what he does. I have a lot of brothers and sisters, like 13, and I don't know what they all do. Oh, either. you're so, 13? I have a lot of brothers wow. and sisters, so I don't actually know what they all do. So that's fair. <laughs> all right, well, what's the best piece of advice that you've ever been given? Um, the best piece of advice I've ever been given is um, to just be myself, and um, it sounds cliche, but um, you should really just not hide anything from the world. You should just show them who you are and who you want to be as a person and for me as a singer. So I really just, um, I'm really open to everyone, um, and I just love showing, showing them the real, real Chevelle. I like that. Is, that. is that difficult for you to do besides the not wearing the sweats part? Um, definitely not. Um, I, I'm always... I always am true to myself and true to where I came from, New Mexico. Everyone's great here. Yeah. Um, they're also supportive. I just, I try to stay grounded. Well, we're really excited to have you on, Chevelle. And we're really excited to see you go on in this journey. This is exciting for everyone in New Mexico. Thank you so much. Just around, around the world. Um, we are going to cut to a commercial break, and we're going to be right back with you. We're going to play a game with you. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Chevelle. <laughs> That's clean water if you want to. <laughs> 